hello everyone it's been more than a minute here i know it's been so long that i made a video for youtube this semester has been a lot for me i recently finished my examination and aside to examination i've had reports and every other thing that i needed to do in school and all of these things count towards my final grade and i don't want to mess anything up and at the same time, I do not want to upload content that you are not going to find useful. So I don't want to just rush through content for the sake of uploading. I wanted to take my time to give you guys content that will be useful for you. And I've gotten a lot of messages from people concerning the previous videos I've made. It has been helpful for them. And also a lot of you guys still add like more questions to ask, even though some of the questions has been answered in my videos and that is why i sometimes refer people back that okay go and watch this video so it's not like i don't want to respond to your message but to be honest this thing is overwhelming for today's video i'm going to be responding to all the numerous questions that have been asked because this question has been asked by multiple people so if this person asks me this question another person is asking the same question and it can get overwhelming saying the same thing all over again so i want to make this in a video and i hope that you are going to find this video helpful so let's get started first one here is are there schools in Poland that doesn't require RELTS certificates? So there are schools in Poland that does not require RELTS certificates. So when it comes to English proficiency in Poland, if you are from an English majority speaking country or if you are from a country that speaks English, you can be waived from this requirement. If your previous degree was in English language, you can get a document from your previous um institution stating that um you studied solely in english and you can also be waived from this requirement there might be some countries on your university website that would automatically be waived from this requirement so check your university website to know what you are going to need and in some cases some countries just need to submit this certificate especially if your country is not an english majority speaking country so you might need to submit this certificate so this requirement varies from person to person and can my husband be my sponsor so yes your husband can sponsor you to come into poland to study and even this is um like a thing that you can use to show your home size if your husband is still back in your own country and is the one sponsoring you to study in poland so it is very possible as long as you have all the right documents to prove that this person is your husband and that is your marriage certificate so yeah you're good to go does poland need an eligibility letter for studies or traveling so if you are coming to poland to come and study you need an eligibility letter but it's not everyone that needs an eligibility letter mostly people coming in for bachelor's degree are the one that needs an eligibility letter and if your university also requests for eligibility letter if you're going for master's degree and your university requires that you submit an eligibility letter you can always get that after authenticating your document at the ministry of education the next question is there any type of account they will need me to have or any particular bank so when it comes to your proof of fund um poland does not request that your proof of fund must be from a particular bank as long as this bank is recognized and that is the bank your sponsor has their um account with you are good to go how much do i need to come to poland to be honest i cannot answer this question because for someone that is going to study a course like nursing or let's say medical courses the person might need more than someone that is going to study maybe an agricultural related course so the amount that you are going to pay for your course varies the city where you're going to be studying in their accommodation i mean there are a lot of factors to consider so when it comes to this question you have to do this assignment yourself when you figure out the university you'll be going to the tuition fee you are going to pay your accommodation fee then going to the um polish embassy website look at 
the calculation or the breakdown of the monthly expenses do all of this calculation what is going to cost you when it comes to your visa application visa application now has increased from 80 euro to i think 135 euro now so do all of this calculation and then you are going to know how much you are going to be needing for your studying in poland how many years insurance should i buy so one year insurance is okay because your visa is going to be valid for one year i legalized my document on the same day of my visa interview yes you can legalize your document the same day you are going for your interview that was what i did but you also need to consider your school requirement if your school needs you to legalize your document before application that means you need to legalize your document before your interview day but if luckily your university does not make that as a compulsory requirement then you can take your documents with you on the same day of your interview and then you legalize them to save yourself the stress of trying to look for appointments for legalization and then trying to look for appointments for visa interview also what else can i pay my tuition fee from nigeria apart from through someone there in poland so for people that ask me like how can i pay my tuition fee or application fee i always tell them if they have someone in poland or someone in another european country that the person can help them with the payment but in case you don't have anyone that can help you in this case i would advise that you try the gray app to make the payment can authentication be done at the ministry of education in my state or city the answer is no authentication is done at the federal ministry of education federal ministry of education so if you're a nigerian you need to go to abuja to have your document authenticated so a number of people asked me this question and i told them they need to go to the federal ministry of education in abuja but then there was still one particular person that was arguing with me but there is ministry of education blah 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 so i just decided to just ignore the person federal ministry in nigeria is located in abuja federal ministry is different from state ministry is it possible to apply for a polish visa without first authenticating your school document okay so if i get this person right like can you apply for your um okay can you apply for polish visa without authenticating your document yes it is possible um polish embassy does not care about authentication or whatever it is your school that cares about that one can i notarize my sponsorship letter can you suggest where i can notarize my sponsorship letter so i cannot suggest where you can um, notarize your sponsorship letter because i mean people are spread out in different um state city in nigeria so what i did when i wanted to do mine was to check google notary public near me and then you are going to see a list of notary public near you so the thing with notarization is that notarization is done by notary public and this notary public are always lawyers but not all lawyers can notarize your documents for you so just make use of google i mean there are a lot of things there are a lot of questions that honestly i feel people should not be asking because once you type this thing on google you are going to get you are going to get your answer without any difficulty so just type on google notary public near me and it's going to bring a list of notary public near you so you can call them before going or you know just you're going to figure it out i trust you how do i get an eligibility letter so for you to get an eligibility letter in nigeria you must have authenticated your document so you can get that after authenticating your document so once you've authenticated your document just tell them at the ministry of education that you're going to be needing an eligibility letter an eligibility letter can only be issued to you if you pass your maths and english in your um wayek or neko as the case may be can you suggest schools i can apply to i'm sorry i cannot suggest schools that you can apply to because there are some schools i mean if you want to study a course and then i'm suggesting a school that does not have your course it's of no use so the thing i will always say if you want to apply to a university in poland go to study.gov.pl use the filter option you are going to see different courses based on school and then you can go to the school website check their requirements if you're okay with it apply it's as simple as that hope you don't mind i will be asking you questions from time to time during my application i'm sorry i mind and i won't be able to help you on this matter